Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to invest during a recession. I've seen a lot of people concerned about a recession happening in the near future, largely due to the insane inflation that's happened in the past year, as well as other factors such as the stock market falling over the past few months. And the short answer on how to invest in a recession is to keep investing. So just don't stop, don't get scared, and just keep on going. But the long answer is to dollar cost average. So what dollar cost averaging means is putting in a certain amount of money every week or two instead of just putting in a big lump sum at one point. So dollar cost averaging does have its upsides and its downsides, such as if the market is going up, you will have much rather just put in a lump sum rather than dollar cost averaging. So for example, if you have a thousand dollars and you want to buy as many watermelons as you can and today they're on sale for ten dollars so you can either buy 100 watermelons today or you can buy 10 per week for the next 10 weeks so if the price of watermelons goes up to 12 or 13 dollars then the dollar cost averaging method will have cost you money however if now you can buy watermelons for five dollars then the dollar cost averaging method will have saved you money. Because in the end, if the price of watermelons goes down to $5, then you can buy much more for the money you put in. So if you think that a recession will happen, that means you think the market is going to go down. And if the market goes down, then dollar cost averaging will make a lot of sense. It is a lot more risky to put in all of your money at one time, because if it goes down, then it will have cost you money. So if you're really lucky, I would either play the lottery or go to Vegas. But more seriously, if you're really lucky and you're able to time the market when it's at its lowest, then putting in the lump sum would make sense during the recession. Now, I'm not saying that a recession will happen, but it does kind of seem like a recession is on its way due to the high inflation rate. So now that you know that during a recession, dollar cost averaging will be a smart way to invest, what should you buy? And my answer is largely the same as always. I would strongly advise getting the S&P 500 ETF, such as SPY, because that's really my go-to thing since it's the overall market and it does not have a lot of risk and it performs well at 7 to 10% on average. However, if you're looking for some specific stocks or industries to get into, there are a few. One is the grocery store industry, such as Kroger. So people are going to buy food from Kroger, whether it's a recession or not. That, that won't change. Another one is discount stores such as Dollar Tree and Walmart. So people will be looking to save money, so they'll go to the cheap store. And a third one is healthcare related stuff because even during a recession, people still need their healthcare, they still need their medicine. So those stocks should do fine. And if you're thinking investing during a recession is too risky because the stock market's just going down, I would advise against that as well. Because during a recession is one of the best times to buy because all the prices are down. It's like if you go to Walmart and everything is half off, such as Kroger, for example. Kroger's not gonna go out of business. They're in no danger. So if during a recession happens and the whole market goes down, you can invest in Kroger and then it will go back up. Buying during a recession will work out for you as long as you invest in a company or an ETF or mutual fund that is not in danger of going out of business. So for example, if you buy the S&P 500 ETF, it's not going to go out of business. So all you're doing at buying during the recession is buying it cheap and then it will shoot up. So as long as you don't need the money for the next few years and you're willing to sit tight on the roller coaster, not jump off, and just keep your money in the stock market, it will work out. Another key to investing during a recession is to not look at it. So looking at it every day could hurt you. You're going to look at it, it's going to go way down in value, you're going to freak out, and you might want to sell it. However, that's a mistake because you're selling it cheap. What you want to do is not look at it, just go along with your daily life, set your investing to an automatic schedule, and in a few years, you're going to be glad that you kept on investing during the recession. If you look at a lot of recessions, shortly after them, they shoot way up, and this will likely happen again. So I hope you learned how to invest during a recession. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more daily financial content. And please leave a comment below if you have any ideas for future videos or comments on this video. Thanks.